when you finally realize that life is worth living, then you're going to want to imagine telling yourself when you're in 19 and a half that you could have been strong enough for yourself, could have been there for yourself instead of struggling with yourself and hurting yourself and your mind because you know that your mind was hurting you and that your brain was on fire and then just a few weeks ago your brain was on fire again because of lochiodystrophy and you just didn't want to be in your catatonic estate again and two months ago whenever I was getting into a car nap I was waking up and struggling to continue my car nap and realizing that I almost went back into my catatonic state, which is where my body was completely frozen and paralyzed back in 2021. And I wasn't able to talk at all. And I was scared for my life. Making videos on here makes me feel better. And it's a better way for me to just let out all my emotions instead of writing them down because it's hard sometimes. Um, I finally wrote on paper like a few weeks ago and it was so hard for me to do that. And being me, um, I'm 22 and finally realizing that I'm in college and I'm almost done with it and I finally have a great GPA and I know that it's worth it to continue doing my community college even though I've been doing it since 2019 for my library science degree and I'm just happy that I have my 3.66, sorry, 3.633 GPA. <laughs> It just makes me feel so happy because back then when I was stuck in my thing it was back in 2021 after I got my first COVID shot the only shot I ever got a few like a week later it was towards the end of April which is where I got the COVID shot in the left arm and made me, I would get extreme migraines. I still get continuous scary migraines and I'm just thankful that I have this thing. It's a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, but if you get it at the Detroit Institute of Arts, it's $35 or if you get it online, it is $35, but I have extreme headaches and they just really, really hurt. And last year I just found out that I have IIH, which is idiopathic and cranial hypertension. And I started having all of these symptoms when I was in seventh grade and I didn't know that. That I would start having migraines and start having my plantar fasciitis, which is here. And the rainbow effect of migraines would be over here. And they were very sparkly. And because of me being in the Ascension Hospital back in 2021, they put me there for a whole week in the psychiatric unit. That was scary. I still have nightmares of that place. That's why I don't like too bright, too bright lights. They're too much for me, and um, if it was any brighter than that, I would have extreme headaches. And then if anything is too white or being in a straitjacket, then you understand that it's scary. And then when I was in the hospital, I was in the same hospital that I was in 2021 recently, and I enjoyed it, except that one of the nighttime nurses made me try to give me my medication, my stress medication, anxiety medication, out of van forcefully, like, don't tell me to calm down. I'm a Taurus. You don't tell me to calm down. Like, especially since I didn't know that 
after the next day when I got home, I got my monthly. So <sighs> things happened with that. I'm just glad it was done by today. Thank God because my mood and my monthly and my brain and my leukeodystrophy and my IIH and everything like that and my other personalities that I have they like to come out and they like to shine brighter and my mom did my hair on Wednesday I'm so happy for her that she did it for me so glad and thankful that she did it for me because purple used to be my second favorite color now it's my first favorite color besides that it's my boyfriend Drew's favorite color it's now my first favorite color I do have a lot of dresses like this and other dresses and cute my little pony birthday matching my hair like so cute anything that's super cute makes me happy and any my little pony song especially the smile song from my little pony makes me smile and makes me like super happy and like another thing that's gonna make me super happy is that I get to see my boyfriend today and like I'm super happy because he's gonna surprise me and I briefly saw him yesterday and it was so nice and yeah I can't wait to spend time with him because like I haven't seen him since last week Saturday <sighs> And for me, it's just having my time at home, having self-care, self-love, and honestly just trying to breathe and not be stressed out by all of my medical appointments that are coming up because I have all of them up to June. Y you heard that right. I said June of this year because the other appointments aren't on the portal because it's everything is through U of M which is uh, University of Michigan um they're really great and there's so much stuff within the last four years of my appointments and it's just so much for me to handle and um last week Monday I finally found out that my lipidoscopy my genetic my rare genetic disorder I was born with it that and then last year finding out that it, I, it's incurable really hurts me like seriously it hurts me like it hurts me too much like seriously it hurts me too much that it's I'm not gonna be happy that it hurts me it hurts made me super depressed last week and um in a little bit of this week because you know I have to live with it and I'm gonna have a very strong life and I'm going to make more content that makes me happy besides doing all the things that I love besides being on here been on TikTok a lot today and I know it's been kind of a lonely day but I got to work today, so that was nice, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, and rave out.